there was a point when at 27 you were a called fat by the media which is just I mean firstly just such a ridiculously awful thing for for it to even be allowed to be published I mean that just blows my mind that any person a would write that but b would then go to the editor and the editor say like oh yes that's okay publish that I mean that shouldn't be allowed if you were 70 or 50 let alone if you're 27 or any age I mean how did that affect you and the media in general during your career yeah it hugely affected me and that was a big part of my mental health journey so I had the year before had a huge amount of mental health issues was considering taking my life like I was just just desperate at this point just at so low I've never been that low before ever again and just needing so much psychological help and I went on antidepressants which made me put on weight and and that was the situation I was in so to have someone comment on my personal appearance and uh, things that have absolutely nothing to do with my performance at that time for sure criticize my performance not a problem and if I didn't step up to expectations but I was at my fourth Olympic Games I had this mental health uh, trial before the year before and just trying to get through that but no one asked those questions and no one even bothered to go back and, and say what was actually happening But I think watching this situation with Kyle and what I appreciate so much about him, and I wish I had an element of this when I went through it, was he is so brave to stand up and say, please stop. Like that's enough now. And, And to say that this is distracting and hurtful and to say, I'm not going to continue if you continue to write headlines like this. I love that he said that because... I would have given anything to have a voice like that back mm. then. And, and I think this is the good side of social media. I think this is where um, Instagram so fantastic because he can then put up a post and say, I won't tolerate this and I don't appreciate this. And for my mental health, you need to stop. So when I was competing social media, we didn't have that Instagram platform where we could instantly say, I'm warning you right now, if you don't stop, this is going to happen. So when I was competing, it was all very filtered through media. We only had small opportunities to talk to press when it was after a competition or after a swim that I didn't have that chance. And to be honest, it's too distracting. So I just had to move past it, suck it up, get on with the job, try and forget about it as much as possible and just squash it and say, I'm not talking about this right now. I've got a job to do. Um, And then I just had to process it on my own when I got home but in saying that social media that's the great side about it because I I could have made a huge statement and said this is disgraceful journalism this is Mm. not what we tolerate this is hurtful not only to women but to men to girls to boys to adults it doesn't matter who you're affecting you can't really be saying or putting headlines out there that about appearance because it's got nothing to do with that. So whether I would have done that, I don't know with Instagram, if I would have posted about it or whether I would have just forgotten about it, but it would have been so nice to have that voice and that platform to say how I really felt at that time. Um, And looking back, maybe I probably would have done something like Kyle just to put out a a big warning to say, you've got to stop, stop Mm. with the headlines. It's enough. 